A well thought out research question lies at the heart of any successful study. So it's absolutely essential that you ace this aspect of your research project. In this video, we'll explain exactly what a research question is, how it's different and connected to the research aim, and of course, how to craft your research question the right way. Let's do it. Hey, my name is Derek, and in this video, we're gonna unpack the mighty research question using plain language and loads of examples. Now, in addition to the examples that we'll cover here, you should definitely also check out our free research question mega list over on the Grad Coach blog. You can find the link to that, as well as loads of other free templates and resources in the description. So, first things first, what exactly is a research question? Well, as the name suggests, the research question is the the core question or perhaps set of questions that your study will answer or at least attempt to answer. In other words, it's the key thing that you're trying to figure out with your research project, whether that's a dissertation, a thesis or any other sort of research paper. In many ways, a research question is akin to the bullseye on a dartboard. It's a narrow, specific, clearly defined focal point that you can concentrate your efforts towards. As a result, your research question acts as the guiding light throughout your project and informs almost every choice that you'll make along the way, especially the methodological ones. Now, you might have more than just one research question, but regardless of the number of questions, they will still serve the same purpose, and that is to define a clear focus for your study. This probably all sounds a bit fluffy and conceptual, so let's take a look at some examples. One research question could be, what impact does social media usage have on the mental health of teenagers in New York. Another one might be, how does the introduction of a minimum wage affect blue collar employment levels in outer London? Or looking back in time, another research question might be, how does the portrayal of women in 19th century American literature reflect the societal attitudes of the time? As you can see in these examples, research questions are clear, specific questions that can realistically be answered within a study. These attributes of clarity and feasibility are really important, but they're just part of the picture. Later in this video, we'll unpack four really important factors that you need to consider when crafting your research questions. So be sure to stick around for that. Also remember that you can find loads more sample research questions over on the Grad Coach blog. As always, link in the description. Now, at this point, you might be asking yourself, but how is a research question different from a research aim? And that's a really, really great question because the research aim and the research question are tightly, tightly intertwined but they are very different things. A research aim is typically broader and less specific than a research question. It essentially outlines what you hope to achieve with your research. It doesn't ask a specific question, but rather presents a statement of what you intend to explore. In other words, the research aim paints the big picture view. The research question, on the other hand, is much more focused. The research question is the specific query that you're setting out to answer. It narrows down that research aim into a detailed, manageable question that will dictate your study's focus and of course its methods and analysis. Again, let's look at a quick example to help flesh out this distinction. In a study, your research aim might be something like to explore the effects of climate change on marine life in Southern Africa. Then linked to this, your research question could be something along the lines of how does ocean acidification caused by climate change affect the reproduction rates of South African coral reefs? As you can see here, the research the research aim provides a general focus, while the research question details exactly what you want to find out. Going back to our earlier analogy, you can think of the research aim as the dartboard itself, while the research question is the bullseye on that dartboard. While you're aiming in the general direction of the board at all times, the bullseye is what you're really, really narrowed in on. Now, it's important for me to point out that if you're still a bit murky, a bit unclear about your research aim or research aims, 
it's a really good idea to spend some time figuring that out before you go too deep into the weeds in terms of research questions. To help you with that, we do run a free webinar every day where we unpack the whole process of topic ideation, including research aims and research objectives and questions. If you're interested, you can find the link to that in the description. All right, so now that we've laid some foundations, let's talk about how to write a research question or rather how to craft a well-articulated research question. A good research question has at least four important attributes. It should be focused, feasible, rooted, and aligned. Let's unpack each of these. First up, a research question should be focused and clearly stated. A strong research question typically has a clear singular focus, so don't try to cram multiple questions into one research question. If you absolutely must, rather split a multi-dimensional research question up into separate questions or sub-questions, each with their own specific focus. Regardless of which way you go, be sure to state very clearly exactly what you want to find out so that the reader, especially a non-expert reader, can quickly grasp what you're looking to achieve with your study. Second up, your research question should be feasible. Now, this one is a common pitfall for new researchers. Unfortunately, even a super, super tantalizing and thought-provoking research question isn't going to be of much value if you can't feasibly answer it. Therefore, you need to think very, very carefully about the methodological implications of your research question while you're crafting it. Most importantly, you need to make sure that you know exactly what data you'll be collecting or you'll need to collect, whether that's primary or secondary, and how you'll analyze that data. Third on the list, your research question should be rooted, or more specifically, it should be rooted in a clear research gap and research problem. Without a well-defined research gap, you're going to risk wasting your effort running after a question that's already been adequately answered and agreed upon by the research community. A well-argued research gap lays at the heart of any study worth its salt, so you need to make sure that you have your research gap clearly articulated and that your research question directly links to that research gap. If you're not 100% comfortable with research gaps and research problems, check out our explainer videos covering these topics. As always, links in the description. Last but not least, your research question should be aligned. Now, as I mentioned earlier, your research aim and research question should be tightly, tightly intertwined. At the risk of oversimplifying it, your research question should take the statement that is your research aim, it should then narrow that down to a tighter focus area and present it as a question. That sort of level of alignment is essential. So make sure that your research question directly aligns and intertwines and supports your research aim. If it doesn't, you'll need to revise either your research question or your research aim to achieve the necessary alignment. All right, so now that you know how to write a rock solid research question, the next thing that you need to understand is how to connect your research question to your research aims and objectives. The good news is that we cover exactly that in this video right here. I'll see you there.